Hi, welcome to another screencast video of Algodox. In this video, we will demonstrate Algodox generative AI feature. We begin by creating the extractor. Let's name it Gen AI test and choose a sample document. After the pre-processing operation completed, we go to the extractor editor. We select Generative AI option. Here we can see the sample document we uploaded when creating the extractor. The bottom part is where we will enter our prompts and apply filters if needed. Before we begin, I would like to mention that whenever we enter prompts, we need to be as clear as possible and avoid ambiguity for AI to understand what we really mean. So let's begin by asking AI to summarize this document. We leave the prompt type as prompt, which allows us to enter any prompt we need. Therefore, we enter our prompt, summarize this document. As you can see, the response we got from AI is quite good, which provides the summary of the document as expected. Now we can name the field and save. So far, we have created one field that prompts generative AI to produce the summary of the document. Let's move on and create some more fields. Let's ask for the number of pallets on the document, which is written by hand on the sticker. For this, we will enter what is the number of pallets on the sticker. This time, the response is also correct. So we name the field and save. Next, let's see how we can use the field as the prompt type. Please note that when we use prompt, we can enter the full prompt and form the sentence the way we want. However, when we select field, table, or selection mark as the prompt type, then we should enter only the description of the data we want to extract. Additionally, the field, table, and selection mark options differ in that they produce only the data we are looking for such that there are no additional notes or comments produced by AI like in most cases when using full prompt. Assume we would like to extract the city, state, and zip from the ship to section. We can describe that field as ship to city state zip. The response from AI is as expected. We can also prompt to capture the state only. Therefore, the description can be shipped to state. The response is again as expected. We name the field and save. Let's continue by extracting the freight charge term's prepaid status, such that whether it is selected or not. In this case, we select the selection mark as the prompt type and enter freight charge term's prepaid as the description of the field we are looking for. Note that, here we could enter only prepaid as the description of the field we need, but in the bottom of the document, there is another prepaid option that belongs to fee term section. Therefore, we need to describe clearly which prepaid option we are looking for. When prompt type is selection mark, the response from AI will be either yes or no. Therefore, in this case, it is yes, which is correct. Finally, let's see how we can extract tabular data from our documents. Let's quickly create a new extractor.
For capturing tables, we can use table as the prompt type. In this case, we can describe the table we are looking for as invoice items. As you can see, the response is a structured table as expected. We can even add more filters, for example, in order to get rid of column headers. Please note that we can use table as the prompt type only for cases when a table on the document looks really like a table. In other words, we cannot use table prompt type in order to convert non-tabular data into tabular. For this, we need to use a prompt. Let's see how we can achieve that. So, we name the table as items and save. Now, assume we would like to extract the date, invoice number, customer ID, and the due date fields as a table containing them in one row. To achieve that, we use a prompt, which can be as follows. Find date, invoice number, customer, ID, and due date fields. Then, produce a table from these fields by placing them horizontally in one row. As you can see, the response contains the data we need, but not in a structured tabular format. Instead, AI returned a text representing the table. However, we can use filters in order to convert easily the text into the structured table. Let's add convert to table filter. Next, we add split column filter and enter a vertical bar as the split value. We also check apply to all occurrences checkbox. Next, we add filters for removing first and last columns. Finally, we add filters in order to keep only the row we need. After we are done with setting up our extractor with generative AI, we can upload hundreds and thousands of our documents in File Manager and let AI do the work for us. After the documents are uploaded in File Manager, we can see the data extracted or generated from them under Extracted Data section, where we can export the data to Excel, JSON, or XML. Additionally, we can review and edit extracted data and apply corrections if needed. Moreover, we can use Algodox integrations for automating import of files to Algodox and fetching extracted data from Algodox. For any questions and support, please contact support at algodox.com. Thank you for watching.